as promised, Gonzo Journalism 101 begins now. All right, the what, the why, the where, the how. Throw it out the window, but let's just start somewhere. All right, you're writing something, you're thinking, what, right, what am I going to write about? Well, what are we gonna write about here is about the safe house in the game. This is the safe house in the game. The fire roasted pizza place, right? The um, wood fire, there you go. Pizza place, the safe house. They sometimes feed us when we do not have the money in the cash app to pay for our meal. Slice of pizza, a freaking slice of pizza like he, you don't i tell him hi me you don't really you don't don't have a leftover lasagna no he doesn't no. i'm not worthy but but there's others others in town who are worthy of it for some reason more worthy than me of these leftovers or even a job Occasionally, I just asked, dude. Well, he got all freaked. I asked him a few times now, and he's just like, I said, I just want to sweep. What are you worried about? But they're worried about something in these times. Yeah, it's a paranoia time. So, first off, as part of the schooling, you know, that's a package that's been sitting there. That thing might just blow up. I've been mishandling it. Look at that. Yeah. I don't know where it's been. I don't know what's inside. Check it out. It's sealed. Yeah, we tracked it. The dog sniffed it. And if it was like an explosive thing like this, right? It would have exploded already. Someone else would have paid for my words. Uh, uh, whoops. Sorry. Yeah. So anyways, that's a, it's an old story. It's happening in Europe. It, it's... it's it's symbolic for a beheading that happened to a teacher in, um, in France. This just happened lately. And this teacher was beheaded because they were <laughs> trying to do the First Amendment speech, you know. Told anyone, you might be offended here by what I gotta say. We're talking about a... Um, I just got to notify. Is that you, Delira? There's some magicians, there's some puppet masters who know more than I do about this story. And they know too much about me, more than I would like them to know. And I always get into Marilyn Manson mode, which is, how much do you know, bitch? It's a backwards, the what, the why, the where. You know, Iggy Pop did a whole seminar about it. Remember, children, for $9.99, I did. I know I sold a couple of those. I didn't sell any of those. Well, let's bring our ANSD mind back, please so we can finish this, because I don't want to do this again. I'm going to have to do this again. Oh, yeah, it didn't look good. Yeah, the, yeah, I do not look good. What happened? What happened? Why did it look so, so good before? Was the lighting just right? 
Yeah, I wish I hadn't fired the cinematographer. I had delusions of grandeur. And it took away from the story. You're right. So let's get back to the story. The story is, of course, Jaime. He's going to serve us now. That's our goal. That's the end result. He's going to serve us some pizza that he hasn't for the longest time. But like Pretty Woman, since you guys put stuff in the Cash App, and as promised, I have to always show where the Cash App money goes to. Players, that's the fun of it. We're going we're gonna to go back. Not high heels. Not, not dressed to kill. That would be good. That may be for, for a later date. Now here, just pants off. Like I'm um, breaking bad. We're coming back to the... I think it was the ninth episode, the seventh episode. It, was, it didn't matter. It was a wonderful show. But at the seventh episode in the very first season, you have to suspend your belief. Major. Major, major suspension during, during an entire episode that really kind of... You know, I'm going to record the next ones. You know, I'm not going to, like, rush home, get into an accident over this show. You know? But up to there, whoa, yeah, I was ready to. They were playing French music. They were... He has a bag. I'm just going to say, the protagonist has a bag on him that is this explosive product that I'm worried about that's in this bag. See, it's Hollywood has, has set off the beast. So that's what I think is in here. I'm very worried. That's why I'm not opening it because I know, like the doctor would know, like the professor of the junior high school would know. Yeah, it's, I, I don't want to open it because that's when it will explode. Not when it's there and I'm shaving my head. Not when I'm doing this whole scene just shaking around. Not when they finally drag me up these stairs. They pull it away from me. They cut the thing open. They taste it. They don't get high, but it doesn't explode. They throw it back to you. You, of course, MacGyver it with some duct tape. You put it back in your... I don't know, backpack, you bring the backpack in. I'm just telling um, the story of Breaking Bad and the protagonist having to jump through a hoop of impossibility and doing it, doing it good. That's a good actor, That whoever that dude is. It's great. Um, in the end, you know, when the protagonist other one the uh, what's the opposite children I was telling you to google that one protagonist needs a every protagonist needs a antagonist be antagonistic be agnostic I don't care if you mispronounce things um, alright he throws the bag right this bag and then it explodes takes off Three buildings, one block that way. Just a, a, an entire square block of just... It's... It's Pearl Harbor all over again. Yeah, PTSD. That's what the channel's going to be about. So it's bringing back these, these memories in the morning I wake up with this episode where... It can't be. He would have exploded already on the bus or what. You know what I mean? It's a long process before he gets to the drug arena of the streets of Compton. Right? I, it's a, right. He's coming in from Arizona or something. New Mexico. Sorry. The lighting in New Mexico is great. And the Denny's. The lighting from the outside Right when they do all the shots on the inside, they got that down. Oh, and you can see out there, you just know it's just hot. It's just desert. You can just see vultures and heat coming off of the dirt, right? Impossibilities, yeah. 120 degrees just in the shade, right? No, but nobody says that living in Cartago population. Look it up, people. 
92. But I just talked to somebody at the Shell station, Gustavo. All right, there was a Gustavo in Breaking Bad. He wasn't a good character. He, uh, he definitely, you know, didn't know how to drink tequila very well. Didn't know how to offer vengeance in a kind manner. Which brings me back to these haters who've been telling me I am being blasphemous. They're bringing out these things where I keep saying I don't think my God is vengeful in that way. I think he's a comedian who's just trying to, he's working, you know? We're all practicing, we're working our chops, you know? There's things that work and there's things that, right, haven't been working. And in, and in Midnight Express, written, uh, directed by the same person who directed The Wall, uh, he gets in this situation, the protagonist, with like hashish over the border. It's happening in the 70s. He's with his like girlfriend. They're over there in Istanbul. He's like tying. Oh my God, this is gonna hurt some of my subscribers. Some of you are gonna just hurt, but go watch that movie if you wanna hurt. Blocks of Afghanistan hashish. Yeah, Afghanistan sticky. Just. And this would be a block that he MacGyver duct tapes there, then. He ducks another one here. You know, the whole night before, he's been packaging it up, ready for sale when he gets home. No, he just was going to do it. He was hoping he could do some in the uh, bathroom. You could still do that back then. I'm sure he saw he was going to get through customs, go on there, you know, smoke in the bathroom, never come out until the plane finally got back to the States. But anyway, this guy right in Istanbul, he's got all this stuff. He's got this two times over. He's got two strapped to his back. It's a lot of hashish. Yeah, it's a lot of hashish when you think about these little blocks where when I was looking, I'm like, okay, hold on. It's the size, each one of these is the size of a, yeah, people in the biz, you're gonna go, no. Well, a pack of cards, all right? But, so this way, and then maybe half the width. Yeah, so you got all like, even the camera's like, all right, let's, uh, let's do this clinical. So he's got, you know, taped and taped and taped. A, a thing where there was no way he was, he was able, in the book, he tries to, get rid of this stuff when he knows the gig is up, the jig is up. There's just no way. There's, it's just duct tape works really well. Yeah, it, it stays on your body. He could not get rid of it. Uh, it just stayed with him for the rest of the movie. Uh, yeah, anyways, but we're just getting back to product and us who are trying to quit things and like to reminisce. That's all we got left. Right, sober bodies? All we got left is the memories. So we're talking about, all right, let's just for, our, you know, that wide, huh, of just pure, gooey, slimy, that shit's strong, that stuff's pure, hasn't even been cut yet. All right, well, that, and that street value, just you looking at this, and this, and you know it's gonna be sliced. They're gonna, they're gonna slice these little, like they slicing up cheese, right? Like what we got the liverwurst for Manson the other day. It's these little chocolate slices. Pretty thin, you know? They make it thinner and thinner and thinner, and they go, that's gonna be Blah amount, maybe 20 bucks. 
for just that little situation. So that means if you, if I give you this deck of cards, that is a lot of money. It's a, yeah. Now, the person that has just bought this doesn't have a lot of money, so they can't like pay in advance for that kind of deal. That's why you don't want to smoke it yourself once you have this loan in your hand. But you start thinking, well, you should spread it out. So now this little flimsy thing that's questionable, huh? the right amount for what you're paying for, they start to mix other gooey things, a little maple syrup here, a little um, incense here. Oh, incense is a bad one. Oh, you smoke that. Somebody told me rabbit um, feces. You know, they, whatever to spread out this that looks like hashish product. You can go really far with that. It, you're not a crook if you're actually giving someone something. It's just you have a chance to take it. You got to smell it. Yeah, you, you know, so right when it's just excrement, you know, you're questioning that. You got to light it, sniff, see if there's incense. You can definitely smell that right away, um, just lighting something. It, it's going to be mixed with something, and you're going to find out if it's more dangerous for me what I'm going to be smoking or less but it's gonna be cut, so it's not gonna give you a good effect smoking that kind of thing, because it usually ends up having some sort of PCP-esque like effect, it, whatever they cut it with, you know. It's like the bleach that they use, ammonia and stuff, on the cigarettes from Philip Morris and Co. They like to be mentioned. They owe me, when I was a kid, they brought me over from Joe Camel. And Joe Camel, yeah, they didn't have masks, but they had a whole catalog and you could just dream each pack, just one more and I'm gonna get the pool table, you know, with uh, Joe Cool on it. And I used to write to them all the time Cynical, because I wanted the thing. I think I wanted this leather jacket. It was a badass leather jacket. But it's like, you, they were setting you up to die. I, I knew it was impossible. No way in hell. I, I'd have to smoke, like, you know, three packs a day since I was nine years old to, you know, come close to what they're like, yeah, 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 keep doing it. There's another coupon. Look, cute nose he has, cute face. It looks like a, another thing. It looks like another part of the body. You know, my conspiracy theories, right? Yeah, really, that's, you guys thinking of other things. See, that's, that's you thinking. Whatever you see here, whatever right now you're thinking in your head, if you're thinking what I think you think you're thinking, you're thinking of trying to talk me out of thinking what I'm thinking you're thinking. Yeah, till there's nothing you ain't thunk. Nirvana? No. Um, violent Femmes. I think it's mispronounced, but... All right, back to the scene. Okay, we tried to do, children, a one... Just for a one-camera deal, which means we're just going to get out of the car go get this pizza, or what we're doing is we're gonna buy it. If he's even gonna allow us to buy it, that we don't know. That's the improv part, but you have to work into the scene. Any sort of accidents, any kind of thing, don't turn it, you don't need to turn it chaotic. There's no money. Just think there's no money really involved here. We won't lose anything except if someone dies of food poisoning. So let's not be all panicky like we're SNL and, and, and have a thing where someone could die during a scene, right? We can't do that stuff anymore, not during a COVID, because we can't tell behind the mask. The signs, I'm sorry, the dream catcher is... It's, 
it's flying toward me. It's trying to tell me to shut up. I'm destroying, I'm destroying my dreams. And it would make sense if, you know, I wanted to do that kind of channel, but if I did right now, if I put that in the video for too long, for too long, juvenile, a juvenile thing like that, what I just did, Mario wouldn't be happy, Luigi, even though I think I played you guys and my friends before you went out of the country because it's cheaper. I'm just saying, Speed Racer, you know what we stole from. All right, so this is a good look. Yeah, this is good enough. It's not the quality of it. It's more just, we're just trying to block scenes. So get information. Someone's taking notes. Definitely not for continuity. It's never gonna happen except that, right? We're always gonna wear that shirt until the date. You all know what date I'm talking about. Okay, are you ready? I know, I'm excited. It's at 21 minutes and 33 seconds. I bet it's going to conk out. The phone either overheats, not enough memory, See, I'm, I'm, I'm a pessimist. But did I finish the story? Like, they get away with the scene where he doesn't explode after all this stuff. And, I'm, yeah, I'm going back to the Breaking Bad. And, and that he doesn't wear his pants. That is, is in the first scene. When you first see Breaking Bad, you see the protagonist just standing there with no pants. And that's the plan. That's what we're doing here. I got the shirt, right? I know it should have been a more like a teacher-esque, like, you know, I should have had a tweed up here and all that. He has a tweed and he's looking sharp up there. But down below, right, he's not wearing anything. That, in, that's when you know, when people see that scene and I tell them, oh, you should see, you've never seen this Breaking Bad, go watch at least the first one. And you know, you, you either lost them or they're hooked. And it's the very first scene. He has no pants. He's just standing there. He's got the gun. Fire department's got other problems. They just roll in right past. That's the life, right? Who, who was he burying out there? That's the way it starts, right? And meanwhile, copyright striking smarts of those making Breaking Bad, and I'm gonna learn from that is they, they wanted to use Iggy Pop's The Passenger, but they knew YouTube would strike it down in other places, like they strike down us. So they used a version from a French band who just kind of, you know, sang it in French. Yeah, Mano Negra. You know what that means, people? I say Green Party, but I, you know, black hands matter too. You don't want to be crushing people's hands like the police did me and then be on this person and say well if you're expecting the police who have taken your black hands and broken them so you can no longer play your cello even though we trained you in school in the 70s then we gave you a book to read it was called black like me and it's a white man who does an operation to become a black man. And he goes through the town, all these same things, like gets the pizza like I'm gonna do. But he comes back a day later and he's black and we are black like him. He's saying black like me. He wants to know what is it really to be black? And that's the book and so from the 70s, from like third grade, I read that book. I know they were trying to tell us to be tolerant to, and you learn from this because the protagonist is appalled that the people don't recognize him behind this makeup. 
an operation he's done to appear to be black. Black like me, super old book. They probably made a movie. All right, that was the setup. You see, children, you can just do this with your phone. It's called iPhone 8 or 5 or 6 or 7, whatever works for you. And you can, you can bash it to correct itself of its little twerks, we're going to call it. It's twerking. It's tweaks. You need to tweak it? Nah. Yeah. No, you need to aggressively go in, grab that virus, sit it down, and say, hold on here, Mr. Virus. That video didn't take, get taken down. Just telling you guys, anything to do with Iggy Pop, anything to do with Kurt Cobain, anything to do with... Most of the music, nobody cares. Uh, yeah, King Crimson, there's something up there. I'm sure it's just their business associates wanting to... <laughs> like Marilyn Manson would say, right? He's done that. He said, you guys with me while I, the secretary that you sent over, over and out, is the business that, you see, the Illuminati, the Illuminati, he's filming me, this Illuminati from the car. I'm gonna film, do you see him? Let's put the lighting down. You see him back there. You see him, he is pointing that right at me, look. Tell me, I'm not freaking out. See, paranoia ever since I've been Marilyn Manson's manager. So, we're getting soy. Well, what would Marilyn want today, children? Those in the writing class? Yeah, let's get him. All right, yeah. But me. You know he's going to want me. And uh, I can have me those playing the cash app it's been two weeks I can have a pizza I can have this one this particular pizza let's do it so it's got tongue oh yeah this is gonna freak him out it's got tongue it's got capricola or cap capicola it's got all the cancerous meats that I have to say children they just learned yeah, if we say cancerogens doesn't really mean that it's, you know, tell that to Boar's Head, um, tell that to, to this poor guy, this poor guy has to be making vegan pizzas with soy and some sort of soy cheese. What do you want from us? God, the fire looks good in there. Like, I'm just waiting for the fire to, you see the reflection of the the fire to be just right. And then he's gonna stick that pizza. He's gonna stick that pizza right in there, in that oven, with this wood that he planted, the actual trees that he collects the wood. One by one. That I may have come sniffing around back in the days when I wasn't the Lord. So you know I'm talking about two years prior, probably more. But there was an issue where perhaps the mama was like interested and I was saying, no, no, it's the kids. It's just because the, the dad was busy going, finding the wood I'm confessing. It's my confessional channel. I told you I was going to do it. That's what this guy's waiting for. That's right. He's, he's putting in my confessional, so let's do it. Let's do it. I said I was going to do it. It's at 29 and 33 seconds into this movie. 29. That's got to be 29 seconds. Is this just re-rolling? We can do... We can do hours. Somebody bought me all this memory. Wow. All right, I got to thank you there. 
this is amazing. I've never been able, it wasn't filming. It wasn't, somebody did something that must be in that cash app or that maybe he's putting it in right now. Thanks. Yeah, he's putting it in. Just don't worry, get the pizza. All right. Now we got 15. Remember the game, children. We would, we had 10. And you remember those, oh, those Christmases. I don't know, there's those banks. And they were magical. You'd get more money. You put it in and it would calculate, but it wouldn't be really, you know, the crazy piggy bank. Magical. All right, this guy's been waiting forever. He's been waiting. He's been grumbling. I say we stay in the car and do that different scene. Now, because now that I know, we could just do hours of this, perhaps. We go back to our old ways. We don't really do anything. We don't get the um, notebook so we could start writing these scenes down from this... This book that we're not really quite grasping any reasoning for. And then we suddenly were here at the safe house. We call that the safe house in the game. Which game? The saga of the secret life of Thomas Grant P.I. At 3123, that's what the timer said. We now have $16. Now it, at 31, 33 seconds, it brings us to the question for the test of Dr. Lord B.S. Get your pencils out, get your pens, get your Sharpies, especially if you are in Marilyn Manson's clan. Pull out the mailbox, no, pull out the lunchbox pails and the pumpkin patch kids and... What was the other one? What's the one from my generation? They, they were trading cards. Come on, Baked Alaska. I'm sure you're my generation. Lauren, Lauren, Lauren Gazette, Lauren Chronicles, um, the, the Lauren Identity, all of you. Delilah, Scott. At 32.30, I called you guys out. At 32.33, I called you out again. Hello, let's see you pop up here during the live stream. You're not doing it now. Now you've left me alone with money. What am I going to do with it? It would be more savings if we just went to McDonald's. Let's just go to McDonald's. I would like to go to Taco Bell. Taco Bell for $5, people. $5. You can live on it. You get, like, the nacho fries, extra sodium. We started a 1,000 there, right? I'll let you know that the doctor learns. I can only, if I want to kill myself and love my head spinning and my heart palpitating and to bring it down, and I can do this occasionally if there's a party or something. I mean, if there's got to be a good reason. It has to be really good food. I need it. Usually when I'm depressed, it overrides. Any sodium product that's bad for me or sugar or caffeine or any, anything. It, it circulates. It, it becomes the need and then the hate and the need for the to hate but the love is comes back and then you know why you love the thing to begin with right and you start the cycle again and you know you're gonna die and you hear that the birth wasn't fun and you see that for your next generation it's not gonna be fun and yeah I mean, they're having fun. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to be depressed. Ing to people. It's not all about me. That's another thing. It took me to 34 minutes to tell you I only, I personally only wanted to do this to 33 minutes and 33 seconds. And now it's at 30. 
four minutes and 55 and I know you guys are going I wish you'd stop complaining and god this is long or I I wouldn't even I didn't even go that far or are you talking the usual and I end up in the same place with my pulp fiction with a gift that I'm afraid to open because it it could go the wrong way, could set off an explosion. Meanwhile, I'm not understanding how did the, why did the guys who searched the protagonist not blow up when they were searching him so brusquely? Why didn't they blow up when the bag was being thrown to them? Why didn't they blow up and one of them broke it open and started to sniff it, taste it, or look at him and go, what is this shit? You know, it didn't blow up in any of that. It didn't blow up until way he's being dragged up some stairs and he's in front, in front of the antagonist, the real one. And this antagonist is just loco and needs some good product. That's all. And when you need the good product, nothing else matters nothing else will do and this actor big budget pulls this out and says take a taste and throws it and it spins in slow motion this explosive thing right yeah and plops in front of him and the dude El Loco, right? He's, he's got his knife, which is not the right. It's too long if he's going to be a First Amendment auditor that way. But it might have been, been taking place in Mexico. We don't know. They kept switching it back and forth. But the protagonist is there. I know it's confusing. I'm confused. There's a protagonist. He's a teacher. You're going to see, like, oh, what are you stealing from that? Yeah, maybe. He's a teacher. He's a genius. He just wants to make good product. But then he has to keep telling people, my name is not Aunt Jemima. My name is not Aunt Jemima. And then it continues on. You want the whole list. Then they came back up and said, and he said, I am not. Nina Simone, I never sang Mississippi. God damn. Sniff that, asshole. Like that, right? Something like that, but really nice. Sniff that, sir, would you kindly? I'm your lone high school teacher. I, I would never do you harm... You can only be scared of my bald head. We're all doing it. They all start doing it afterwards. Episode 7. They were all going bald on the set, right? Why? What's happening out there? Kind of close to Area 51? A little too close? Isn't that where um, John Wayne... Didn't John Wayne maybe do a picture out there before he died... Natalie Wood, or someone connected to her, did something. Out where you were filming. Yeah. I'd like to see that stuff. No, I like Better Call Saul. So, don't get mad. I know. I'm full of myself. I know. You don't care. Nobody cares. I'm loving it. I can just do this. And it's keeping me from going crazy in my mind, ending up like Jack Nicholson in The Shining and just being no fun. No play, no fun. Dull. Now those of you who know things like ANSD and other things of that kind of value, because, you know, autism, you can't really measure it. Not really, not auditorially, spectrally. I don't know, maybe. But just depressing, depression, depressing, depressing thoughts. Sometimes, sometimes, maybe sometimes, all the time, 
scary ones at moments we want to stay away from. That's the ones. That's where I'm at. There's just, I don't want to get to this space that I know there is that door. There is that hallway. I always see that hallway with the uh, carpet in this scene. And there's doors and there's choices, but it, they're not fun choices. And it's always Jim Morrison saying, you better be ready. You better snort that Coke first before you open the door. Maybe you need a little bit more of that truth serum that's making you feel strong, especially the vodka where you go, ah, I'm being like my grandfather. I'm being a man. That's what being a man is. It's getting all like having some fun, getting your oats out. Hoping your girl is faithful. Once, once they're not faithful, kind of messes it up for every girl that follows. That's that baggage. Yeah. Peace, Dad. That was my sermon to, uh, Have a pizza with my dad. All right, we are gonna go have a pizza. Oh, damn, did someone else come in? I don't want anyone else in the shot. I want it to be so I can say anything to this man. That's what I've been doing in the scenes. You know that I've actually confessed to him what happened with his wife. And I sit there and I eat the pizza and I say yeah banged her several times and he's like yeah I love my new truck right and we had that classic conversation you don't need to see it again I left it up I don't take my videos down ever but I did hear a story there of Diane Worth and something they took down and I just looked at it and that was that was hurtful for me Yolandi I had uh, trained you when you were in my possession. I had trained you like my fair lady. Not to use that word, not to use the other one, not to point out people's defects. You told me you didn't do that anymore, didn't you? You said we were sponsoring each other, Yolandi. Turns out um, you were letting someone touch you here and here. And even there, you got pissed off. I saw you got crying at one point. And you were worried. And I hear everyone was worried. And I would be worried too, because when you do that kind of stuff where you were in that particular country, yeah, you had to quickly get your story straight because somebody could be going to prison, like, right there, the next 20 minutes and... You would have gone done the rest of the tour being like, he was a rapper? What, what kind of drama were we trying to set up? Anyways, that's the way that looks, like it was like some good drama. And I want that to be uh, a warning to the poor community of YouTube. May that be a lesson to you. That's the people, you just have to be careful and not allow it, because I'm sure they don't do it now, that kind of behavior, and they're great now, I've seen them, they look like a wonderful couple, but there they were playing, obviously on these videos they were playing a part, but for 24 hours, 48 hours, however you wanted to stay up, and like Marilyn Manson, the guy saying to the girl, Yolandi, you gotta do Marilyn Manson. It is, you have to be that Oscar winning performance to save your life right now. Because if you don't do it right now in front of the cameras, when it does finally fly, you could be in jail in this country you don't know. Like Midnight Express, I brought it around, da 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 da. Oh, at perfect, it's four, 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 four. So the timer right there said zero, zero, four, 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 four. It was meant to be. 
I brought the gag around. That's my shtick. I start with one subject. It doesn't seem like it's going to make any sense. It will come back around eventually. And then the show is over. It's been like that since the beginning of the channel two years ago. It's just finally getting the right tweaks. Not yet. This is unfinished. You saw. Well, it didn't make sense in a lot of places. A lot of places are bad. Yeah, it'll need to be edited, but probably this will be trashed. And we'll just redo it. And it's going to be different each time. But perfect. In its own imperfect way. So, I'm going to still try to remember after I was so excited that we I managed to do it. I'm trying to remember coming back around to Yolandi acting like a little girl and needing the father figure. And that was just a vibe. You could tell she was in her own trip and that it was more childlike. What they are doing was like being junior high school, like the things that are in Stephen King books when he writes about teachers being terrorized by a certain age group. And adolescence and when, dude, when you do a band, you just go back to your adolescence. And if you didn't have a good one, or if you were picked on, or if you were the loner, or if you were the one that just nobody wanted to deal with and didn't know that, oh, there'll always be one special person. You'll meet them, and they're even radder than all the mean people, right? You don't know that in junior high school and you want to gain back your childhood. And I can understand that, especially if you've had any sort of abuse. And it gets theater. If you start to meet theater people, then it gets cinema. If you meet cinema people, yeah, then it brings us back to Phil Spector and, you know, Robert Blake and... O.J. Simpson, but we just want to pick on Cosby. I'm having a, a seven-string bitch of a cello being made. It's an electric cello with specialized pickups. It's going to be gnarly. And my comedy routine, Cosby, will be my bitch because I'm doing a, a whole seminar, right, of doing this iPhone whatever one you want. What you can do with it when you got nothing. And still upload it to YouTube and monetize. This is what I'm doing here. It's called long form or long content. Put it in the content, people. We'll do a whole video about what the name is, the lingo. I need to know about the lingo of the YouTube, but we must train people now to just like everyone's video. I don't know when you don't even know what the video is, just like it, subscribe if you haven't, ring the bell if you haven't, and just make it a, make that your routine. And you'll be like, oh, that's a lot of extra steps. I don't want to do it. It's not worth it. Or I can't say I like it if I don't really like it. But I, I can't say I don't like it because I don't want to be mean or I'm not really sure if I don't like, you know, it's not even happening. It's just this interest to help win. Ooh, this is a nice shot. Dun, 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 dun. Dun 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 Right that do you guys know that musical? He's got half of his face fried off, acid, acid exploding. That's questionable. We're going to be talking about that story. We're going to be talking about the Alaskan bush missing son. Where is he? Why isn't there anything about him? 
did he go to rehab? Did he go again? Did he, what happened when his head was sewed back on to his shoulders? What was the deal with the amount of fertilizer that he used to explode basically the entire set like it was apocalypse now, but they weren't ready yet. They weren't, didn't have all the cameras set up and they were recharging batteries and he blew up a ref refrigerator. So it was a refrigerator full of fertilizer that he was keeping fresh and he was paranoid because there was a bear. A bear kept coming around. He got paranoid. He thought it was the same bear who'd been coming around another time in another shot when his brother was going hoo hoo and like falling down. Um, Homer Simpson style. Oh, do down a mountainside doesn't break anything or appear to or I don't know he skips away you know not even limping no they're amazing kids I, I, I that's why I'm I want to know the first guy so that's that's the that's the channel I will not die until I am sure that I know the true story behind Matt from Alaskan Bush, Bush, Alaskan Bush, Bush, Alaskan Bush people. Now I've gone way too far, right? It was really good at four, 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 44 minutes and 44 seconds. Now, had I done it commercially, that was probably enough. And they would put the commercials and that would have filled in the gap. But here, in my head, I was thinking, I need to give you an hour of just pure, unadulterated footage. Yeah. It's a value. You can thumbs up that. So if you're used to thumbs not doing it, just automatically just thumbs up the video right now. If you don't be like, oh, okay, that's funny. No, thumbs it up. And then next video. If you're going to go right now to another video, just thumbs it before... You can watch it. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it up. Subscribe. Bell.